So that was 20 rounds there, or roughly 20 rounds, and as you can see, it was Hey everybody, I'm your man Tonka. Thank you so much for joining me here on another Tonka Tactical video. In this video, I'm super, super excited to tell you about the brand new Planet Eclipse rifle barrel system. And I am completely blown away. And at the end of the video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually demonstrate. I'm gonna run some first strikes and round ball. And we're gonna discover how well this uh, rifle barrel system works. So uh, stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss out because we're gonna learn it together. All right, so listen, before I go on, if you haven't already, please join my Tonka Tactical Facebook group. I think we have like, I don't even know, like 15, 1,600 members where a lot of cool things are uh, happening there. This is where we try to really build up our Facebook community and paintball community, most importantly, paintball community, because a lot of, like I said, a lot of cool things are happening where we're giving out new markets to new players and you get a chance to win a lot of great paintball stuff like EMF 100, cases of first strike rounds, and masks, and all that sort of stuff. So the link is right here, and if you haven't already, check us out. You're not going to want to miss out. And lastly, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel so uh, you get all the notifications and all the cool stuff. And so, uh, you know what? We spread the word of uh, paintball to the community and to the world. All right? So thank you so much in advance for doing that. And listen... What we're going to talk about, like I said, is this amazing, amazing system. I'm going to go in detail. I haven't fired anything. It's brand new out of the case, as you can see. And, and listen, if you haven't already seen my EMF review video, um, check it out. And uh, I'll tell you, if you've already seen it, then you know that, in my opinion, this is the best marker for MagFed on the market today. In fact, in fact, this is Planet Eclipse's first attempt at a MagFed market. And they nailed it. In every respect, they nailed it. This is a perfect marker, in my opinion, where it's efficient, it's reliable. You don't have to worry about balls breaking or the mags jamming. What they've done before they've manufactured and put this out into market, they did a ton of research so that when it comes out, it's completely on point. And if you've seen in my video where I run this barrel, I run first strikes and uh, round ball during this combat scene, You'll know that just the stock barrel itself is exceptional. I was pinging off people with both first strikes and round ball really, really quickly, really, really accurately. And now, and now what Planet Eclipse has done, they've created this system that takes this marker, their barrels, to a whole new level. Like I said, what they've created was a rifle barrel system, of what they call this uh, S63. S stands for shaft, six means there's uh, six inserts, and three means that there are three components to their, to their barrels, which I'll explain in a second. So talking about round balls, okay, what they have is six inserts here, okay? Six inserts for round balls and what it does. Well, actually, what I'll do before I open it up is I'll put this together. Now, like I said, this is the, uh, actually, before I go on, this is what they call the tactical uh, barrel. It's a shorter barrel. It actually has three components to this particular barrel. One is the, um, the muzzle brake here, which I won't completely screw off. So you can take this muzzle brake and add a new one on or whatever one you want. And then the, so you have the tip and then you have the back portion and it is a reverse thread. So it uh, tightens the opposite way around. So of course, naturally when you put this into your marker this way, you just tighten it the regular way so that it won't come apart, right? So basically what happens is these Inserts obviously have different bore sizes depending on the round ball that you use because obviously it doesn't matter how great the round ball is or the or the um, the brand or whatever the case may be, there might be slight deviations to the size. So what they have is different bore sizes to fit the perfect, be the perfect fit for your round ball. And if you don't know, if you drop the round ball into here, it just slides right through. This insert is too big, so you have to find another one where basically what you want to do is put it in there. It'll roll down a bit, and when you blow it out, it'll be like, a, it'll, it'll be like shooting out a dart. So there'll be a bit of resistance, not a whole lot, obviously, but there'll be enough that when you blow it out, it'll launch out, okay? But I'll demonstrate that at the end of the video. So basically, the three parts, again, this tactical barrel, which I'll put in my gun in a second. Tactical barrel is basically three pieces, except for the muzzle brake, and all it simply does is slip in the back. Just like now, it's a tight fit. Perfect. Again, you know what? 
again, I know I sing Planet Eclipse phrases all the time, but this is a really, really quality piece of uh, gear for your marker. Even this uh, tactical tactical uh, rifle, uh, tactical uh, barrel here, it is it is solid aluminum. Like it is really, really, really rugged quality. So you know that you can be as aggressive as you want, and this will maintain its integrity. So again, all you have to do, is, you can see there's a bit of resistance in there. All you have to do is put the insert in, and it locks in. With the rifle barrel, which is this guy right here, then uh, there's two different sizes: 686 and 683. Okay, and what I'll show you, you can see that if I put in the camera there, you can see that hopefully you can see some kind of grooves in there. Okay, now there's a kind of there's a bit of a difference between this uh, insert and any of these other ones. Obviously, of course, like I said, this is the rifled barrel. Okay, which has the grooves inside, so that when you put the first strikes in, it'll spin within the barrel and um, launch out nice and straight. But the difference, what you'll notice, is that with this insert. There's no threads, okay? There are no threads. Whereas this one, there are threads right there, okay? And the reason why there are threads right here is because when you put the run the first strike through here, because it spins, if there's no thread or locking mechanism, this insert will start to spin. It takes away or negates the effect or the uh, yeah the effect of the first strike around, right? So what they've done is created in their uh, a barrel here, threads on the inside here, so that when you stick it in, now I'll tell you right now the reason why it's quite tight and snug is because they have washers in here, rubber washers that maintain the straight nice fit of the insert, and all you simply do is screw it in, like this, and it locks in and now it won't move, so that when you fire the first strike, this maintains stability, and the first strike runs nice and smooth, and nice flying straight out of the barrel, okay? So you'll also notice that that has this little uh, lip here, this little extension, which I'll take apart my, actually, what I'll do is I'll put it on right now. I'll take apart my uh, EMF here. Unscrew, unscrew this. I'll show you this, the stock barrel versus the uh, rifle barrel. Oh, I'll just leave it there. Okay, so what you'll notice is that there's a little extension piece off this barrel here, which is the stock barrel, which matches perfectly with that one right here, the new rifle barrel. Okay, so the insert, actually this will be interesting to see what this looks like actually. So you put it in here, and this is called a tactical barrel because obviously it's more for CQB, close quarter combat. Actually, it looks pretty cool, actually. Now, of course, if I run the shorter barrel, I'm not going to have this monstrosity of a scope. I'll take this out and put, like, some kind of red dot. But, as you can see, it's nice and compact. Beautiful. Actually, I like it. Actually, it looks pretty cool, eh? I like it a lot, actually. And this is great. I play PRZ, which is an indoor, it's a massive indoor building amongst, within the massive outdoor field. And there's a lot of close quarter combat there. And so to have everything nice and snug and tight around the corners and stuff like that, this is perfect. So this is why they call it a tactical barrel. Okay? This tactical barrel weighs roughly uh, four and a half ounces, whereas the 14 inch is uh, four ounces. So it's a bit lighter, but you know what? This tactical uh, rifle barrel here is, like I said, it's really, really solid, right? So it weighs a bit more. So I actually like this. Actually, looks really, really good. All right. I can't wait to run the first strikes through this. We'll run a bunch of first strikes in, in a few minutes. So let me put this over here. So let's talk about the 14 inch. Oh, there we go. 14 inch, same kind of mechanism in which you apply the inserts. Take this one out. Again, reverse threads. There we go. Nice and tight. Perfect. And again, on the inside here is a thread system there, so that when you put the rifle barrel in there, it locks in. And it goes in nice and smooth, just like that. That is pretty solid, man. I love it. I personally like to run a longer, mar a longer barrel, but I don't know. With that tactical uh, barrel, maybe I'll switch it up. And it goes nice right in there, and it locks right in. But you know what? 
I like this color. Contrast the, um, there we go, the black. Stick it in. Boom. Just like that. Forget it. I apologize for the, uh, my light there, and that's what it looks like. Sweet, eh? Yeah. I like it, man. All right. So, that's what it looks like, and that's the rifle barrel system. Ugh. Let's take that off. You know what? I really like the color here. You know, normally everything I run is black, but uh, this is beautiful. I like the way it looks, man. All right, so that's it before that falls over. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, let's go back to the field. Let's go and shoot these, uh, shoot some rounds through these rifle barrels and uh, see how it works. Okay, so here we are at the range. And uh, before I use the rifle barrel, uh, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use Planet Eclipse's inserts on a 14-inch. We're going to fire some round balls. See how effective, see how accurate it is. What I have down there is a target which is 40 feet away. Um, that's pretty much the long distance, I guess you can, I guess we can go further, but let's just do 40 feet away and see how accurate the, uh, the inserts are, okay? Then what I'll do after that, I'll use the tactical barrel, throw the insert in again and shoot the target and see how effective that is, how accurate it is, okay? So just to cut a word of warning, I have not fully sighted in this barrel, uh, sorry, this sight. As you can see, it's a new one here. Uh, that's actually my old one before I used the larger one. But nonetheless, I'm going to try to aim at it, and then I'll try to keep the marker steady and uh, try to get a nice tight cluster. Okay? So here we go. Let's give it a shot. So that was 20 rounds there, or roughly 20 rounds. And as you can see, it was very very tight. It's actually excellent. Uh, what I might do if I have time, and we have another, we have a party coming in in about 45 minutes, so I don't have time if I can shoot it further, but I'll try that. So what I'll do now is I'll take off the 14 inch, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the tactical barrel with the same insert and see if there's any distance. All right, so let's check it in. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in a different location here, uh, simply because I felt that maybe 40 feet was a bit too close. So I'm roughly about, say, 50, 55 feet away. Uh, maybe that's a better range for this test. And just to kind of give you a frame of reference, those targets are relatively small. They're roughly about um, a foot and a half in length and uh, width, okay? So they're not big targets, but let's try to get a close, nice, uh, close and tight cluster. All right, so let's try it again. Okay, here we go. So again, just to let you know, I'm using round ball again and uh, the same insert, okay? So let's give it a shot here. Uh, safety first. We gotta put the glasses on. All right. Not bad. I should. Tactically, what I should do is have. Uh, this marker on a stand so it stays more stable, it gives more accurate. There's maybe a bit of shaking on my part, but uh, let, let's give it another round, okay? Here we go. And we just knocked the target down. So that was pretty good. So let's take a closer look. And uh, as you can see, the cluster is pretty de decent, but uh, let's take a closer look here, okay? Actually, what I'll do is I'll turn this off and move my camera because my other camera just died. So uh, let me get back up here. All right, so here we are, and it's pretty riddled. As you can see, the cluster was pretty tight for the most part. It's all around here. We had some ones that kind of strayed, but again, let me just bring this up a bit so you can see it. There you go. So as you can see, it's pretty decent. Again, here's a reference from my hands, okay? Relatively small target, I was way over there. And as you can see, it's a pretty good tight, tight cluster. A lot of hits in the same area, just totally shredded this out. And uh, you can see there's some peripheral shots here, but overall, it was a relatively tight cluster. So I'm pretty impressed with this. So what I'll do, now time is of the essence, so I got about 45 minutes left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over to the tactical barrel and I'll run the same insert and see how it is. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just made the switch. I am now using uh, Planet Eclipse new tactical barrel with the same insert. And I gotta tell you, 
I love the new look of my marker. I love the CQB shorter version. It's just brilliant. In, in fact, I think this is really the way I'm going to run my marker, unless I kind of go into more of a sniper mode. But uh, I love it. I just think it's the coolest look. But uh, nonetheless, I'm still, again, running round ball. And again, the same uh, insert. So let's see how it functions. All right? All right, here we go. All right. First one was kind of uh, a random shot there because I was just lining my uh, marker up. Well, let's try it again. Here we go. Beautiful. As you can see, zeroed right in. So let's have a look, okay? Let me just uh, turn the camera off. <laughs> Let me turn the camera off and uh, we'll have a look, all right? Okay, so as you can see, again, it's a pretty tight cluster. Again, this is a really small target, like I said, it's about a foot and a half in height and width, okay? And you can see it's a pretty tight cluster all around. So again, when you have the right inserts, and the tactical barrel and both both tactical barrel and the 14 inch run perfectly perfectly well all right so now let's go check out the first strike and see how that works okay we'll put in the uh rifle barrel we'll do, first do uh, i guess we'll just keep the uh, tactical barrel we'll run the uh round uh, uh first strikes with the rifle barrel with a p planet eclipses tactical barrel and uh yeah we'll see how it works all right let's check it out Okay, so now I just put in the rifle barrel. I'm running first strikes, as you can see here. We'll aim at the target and see how it looks. Okay, here we go. Well, I think that speaks for itself. Bang on almost every time. Now, let's have a look. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay, so as you can see, tight, tight cluster. In fact, I hit it so many times in one area, the thing just ripped apart. Actually, I'll give you a closer look so you can see for yourself. See that? Night, tight, nice, tight cluster all around here. There's one shot, I think that was the first shot I took, and then I kind of got it back into the center there. And again, as you can see, it's a pretty small target, so uh, yeah. It's looking pretty good, nice and tight. So what I'm gonna do now, and I expect the uh, longer barrel will have the similar results, but uh, let me put the longer barrel in, same insert, and see how it looks. All right, give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put in the 14-inch uh, barrel with the rifled insert, and just as a reminder, when you put the rifled insert in, remember you do have to screw it in, keep it in tight, because obviously it is rifled, and when you shoot the projectile, it has the potential of, potential of spinning that insert, so you gotta screw it in, just make sure it doesn't happen, all right? So again, there's the target down there, and uh, just to let you know, I did run out of targets, I thought I had one more, so what I did, I just kind of cleaned off the first target that I shot, so you're going to see some uh, marks there, but you'll definitely see where the first strikes uh, will probably hit. Because just like in the other target, the first strikes just tore it up. All right, so here we go. Let's do this. Make sure it's, I, probably, I think I forgot my glasses on last time, right? I forgot to put my glasses on. Again, safety first. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this again. Now I just put some, um, yeah. I just put some paint on my, mar on my goggles here. So uh, well, we'll see how it works anyways. Here we go. Wow, unbelievable. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. The 14 inch barrel, maybe it's cause I'm more steady right now, but the 14 inch barrel, everything was completely on point as you can see. Mind blowing, I'll take a close up, let's take a walk. Actually, I'll walk you up right now, I'll just grab it. And as I do this, I'll give you a little tour of the uh, Sergeant Splatters here. It is an outstanding, outstanding facility. And uh, listen, a big shout out to King Deep of Sergeant Splatters and Georgina Paintball. Thank you so much for letting me use this uh, field. I know your staff came in early for this, so I really, really appreciate it. Deep, you're an amazing, amazing, amazing man and amazing field owner. All right, so let me just uh, straighten that out there. So as you can see, 
it was a tight cluster. Actually, I'm going to zoom it in even further so you can see everything. As you can see, it's a completely tight cluster. Right there's my first strike, right in there, as you can see. And uh, it just tore it right apart. Right in there is where I shot. These are the previous shots from the round ball that I did, uh, well, actually, down over there, okay? Uh, but uh, amazing, tight cluster. Every single shot hit pretty much exactly where, I'm going to stand up over here <laughs> so you can see what's going on here. Yeah, so every single shot pretty much hit on, bang on with this rifled barrel. And I'll tell you, as you can see from the demonstration, I endorsed planted clips, rifled inserts, and tactical barrel 100%. I am telling you, the EMF, and like I've said a million times, is probably the best mag, and actually, and I know, it's the best mag fed market on the market today. That's why I got it as opposed to the T15. And I'm not trying to knock the T15, it's a great marker as well. But the planted eclipse marker, in my opinion, is far, far superior. I mean, you can just tell by the cluster of shots on these small targets right here. It was bang on every time. And again, I love the long barrel, but personally, I think the uh, tactical barrel just looks a bit cooler. And again, I like playing close quarters where it's really, really intense. So uh, the CQB format of uh, the EMF is, uh, I think, the way I'll most likely run. Unless I play woods ball and stuff like that, then obviously I'll use the longer barrel. Because I think, and again, it could be because my hands were on today. Technically, I should have had this on a stand where I was firing, so all the shots were very consistent. But using the longer barrel, the shots seem to be a lot more accurate, like right in the center of the target. Maybe not the first shot as I was trying to line up my uh, marker, but every other shot thereafter was on point. The tactical barrel was very, very close. I'm not trying to discredit the tactical barrel. It was very, very close. It just seemed that this longer barrel just had that much more of a tighter cluster. But anyways, listen, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please check out my Facebook channel, my Tonka Tactical Facebook group, sorry. A lot of great things are happening there. You can win an EMF and all sorts of markers and great other paintball gear. And uh, that whole group is designed strictly to help grow our community. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel here. It really helps a lot. It spreads the word about paintball and so on and so forth. Get more people involved in paintball. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. And again, King Deep of Georgina Paintball and, of course, Sergeant Splatters, thank you so much for letting me come in early in the morning, private area here, so I can use your facilities. Again, you are the man. I love this field. And if you want to check out Georgina Paintball and Sergeant Splatters, I will have the link in the show notes. I'm telling you, it is outstanding here, especially, again, inside this. And so, I think this is the largest indoor field in Canada, I believe. And the buildings and everything, I'll give you a quick little look around here. The buildings, everything is just really, really intense. There are cars here, two stories, you name it, man. And uh, yeah, it's always a guaranteed fun time here. All right, so again, thank you so much for joining me here. Really appreciate your time watching the video. Hope that helps a lot. Again, Planet Eclipse, great stuff. Amazing, amazing products, and you've really put your time and effort into the R&D and creating such a great, great marker. All right, that's enough. Thank you so much. Talk it out.